right now on NBC Connecticut News at 5. Acne can be devastating for some young people, and the scars it can leave behind can be just as unbearable. We talked with a young woman who's seen promising results thanks to technology. Lisa Carberg is here with her story tonight. Lisa. She suffered for years until, by luck, she found a Bloomfield dermatologist who convinced her to undergo laser treatments. Before the laser, you could feel really in my forehead and temples and my cheeks some pitting. 25-year-old Megan is now comfortable talking about her skin. Her before picture shows what she used to look like. I was that person that didn't mind being photographed, but if, if it was too close and you could really, you know, see the scarring or, you know, I didn't like that. I would rather be farther away when I was photographed. These are all the different hand pieces for the machine and they can do a variety of things and target different structures in the skin. Dr. Jennifer Penoyer shows us the tools she uses on patients like Megan. Megan. Her Fraxel laser gets skin to plump up, which smooths out scars through a process similar to aerating a lawn. We're poking through microscopic holes, about 200 holes per the size of my thumbnail here, and having your body and your collagen stimulated to heal that. She says treating acne scars in teenagers can bring very good results. The results are always better in younger people. They've got better collagen. We're inducing new collagen growth. Lasers have improved so much in recent years that doctors can now treat even small acne scars. This is a before and after picture of another patient. You can see red indentations that are lighter and smoother in the after. Dr. Penoyer says she gets best results after three treatments at a total cost of $1,500, which is not covered by insurance. And while topical numbing creams are put on in advance, Megan says it's not painless, but all worth it for her new look. My family and friends all think, you know, my results have been really great and I look like, you know, a whole new person. My skin's smoother and just, just so much better. And Dr. Penoyer, who is affiliated with St. Francis Hospital, says the laser technology is not as effective at treating the acne itself. She has to have patients return on a regular basis and that can get expensive. Lisa Carberg, NBC Connecticut News.